The uh, frequently used one is uh, split file, splitting the file so that uh, you can uh, get various output sections that are specific to various categories in your variable. Uh, transform, uh, pro I, I use this quite often. In fact, the compute, um, whoops, I'm actually in the, the one that I opened up, which isn't going to let me. The uh, compute is like a calculator, and it allows you to uh, calculate various um, new variables. Uh, and I'll, I'll create a video on that separately. But if I had one item, he a variable here and a variable here, and I wanted to create a third variable called the sum of these two variables, well, I could do that in the uh, transform compute variable uh, utility. There's a lot of other uh, useful options in here when you have to reco recode data as well. Now, this section here of SPSS is uh, the main reason why uh, SPSS exists, I would argue, is uh, to do a large number of relatively sophisticated and um, complicated statistical analyses. And a very commonly used one would be something like a t-test, where we want to compare uh, independent sample uh, means associated with what we hypothesize to be independent samples. And we have paired samples t-test. One way I know of it, you may have heard of these uh, statistical analyses in passing and uh, uh, reading papers and the like. Uh, regression, another, a large number of uh, commonly used statistical analyses here. So SPSS is a comprehensive statistical package because it does all a large number of uh, very commonly used statistical analyses. Now, in addition to doing statistical analyses, uh, we also often want to do charts or graphs. And SPSS also allows the capability, or has the capability, of doing uh, a large number of basic and semi-sophisticated uh, charts. Uh, and it's, that's in a separate um, menu-driven option. Utilities uh, is probably less frequently used than other options, probably more advanced users. Uh, Add-ons, uh, not much to talk about there. Window, and then your help section, where you actually uh, can get help about the various procedures that SPSS can do. Now, I'm going, going to very, very briefly, uh, or very basically, do a, an analysis just to show you what the output looks like very briefly. All right, and I'm, I don't expect you to understand what I'm doing here precisely, but I'm just creating a group variable and an item variable. And we'll actually look at what the uh, output looks like. I'm going to do an independent samples t-test on these data. All right, so that's my grouping variable. And I'm going to define that as a 0 and a 1. And uh, whoops, I actually made a mistake there. This is my grouping variable. Define 0, 1, good. And then I'm going to put that in my test targets, or a dependent variable. And I get output here. And this is what the output of a t-test looks like. I'm not going to interpret what this means. In fact, I've got another video that talks about um, the t-test. But this is where we uh, interpret the output of our analyses. And this is where it takes knowledge of statistics assumptions of statistics and how to interpret a p-value and a t-value, uh, etc. It's all in the output uh, viewer that we get that. So we've got the data viewer, we've got the vari variable view, and then we've got output. And these, this is also where the charts uh, reveal themselves. So if you go into charts and I wanted to create a um, histogram of uh, my dependent variable, it's going to look uh, fairly nonsensical, but this is, uh, this is a very ugly histogram. I have another video on histograms that you might want to check out. Uh, but that's really the basics of, of SPSS. Uh, so once you know about data view, variable view, and that you've got to manipulate these various menus uh, in order to facilitate analyses, you're really well on your way. I'm only going to point out one more thing. In Analyze, when I did that independent samples t-test, there's also an option to paste. And what that means is that you can paste the syntax. Every analysis you do in SPSS through the menu actually has a uh, 
set series of commands that are being built up in the background of SPSS, and it's SPSS executes those commands in the syntax file. Although you, unless you click paste, you don't see that syntax. And this is the syntax here that SPSS creates to, uh, or that is produced by that menu-driven uh, utility that I did for the t-test and I could save this for another time and run it uh, very easily uh, by uh, running actually the, running it through here uh, so I just wanted to very briefly point out that uh, in addition to the menu uh, the menu driven options uh, to do analysis you also have syntax options and in fact there are more options and more capabilities in SPSS through the syntax because not everything that SPSS can do can be done in the menu driven options and that's an important point to make and it also uh, if you have need to create a large number of analyses that are going to be repeated frequently then it can be very uh, useful to use syntax anyway I hope you learned something about the basics of SPSS in this video tutorial and I'll catch you next time